Ronald, we're ready for the, the second leg of this Europa League tie. You know your side have to score here in Denmark. How do you approach this one? No, like always, uh, to win the game. And if we win the game, then uh, it's enough. But we know uh, after the result of last week that uh, it will be difficult. They will not change. Uh, I think they will play in the same way. And we have to create uh, what we did in the second half. But then we need to be more clinical. Because out of five, six good opportunities, we scored one out uh, of a penalty. And that's not enough. You spoke about changing the style a little bit in the second half and you went a little bit more direct. Do you feel like you may have to take that approach again and, and just make sure that the most important thing is, is winning the game, as you say? Yes, that, that's, the, that's the most important about European football. It's not about uh, playing attractive, playing uh, nice football. The most important is uh, to win the game. And, and, and you start a season about uh, how you like to play football. Uh, you have enough sessions about uh, to develop uh, your system and to develop the, the team. But tomorrow is uh, not how we win, uh, if we win. The manager of the opposition has said that the pressure is on, is on Southampton to, to really come out here. Of course, it is with the way the first leg went. Do you feel that your side are feeling that pressure at all? No, but, but we had the same pressure. And to be the favourite uh, before the two legs uh, against Vitesse, and we had the same last week. Uh, we know because normally uh, we are the better team, but not always the best team win the game. It's uh, it's up to a lot of uh, details in the game, and 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 we have to analyze what what went wrong last week, and we have to analyze how we can get uh, them in in problem in trouble, and uh, that's more in the second half than than in the first half. How big is this game? for the club having achieved so much last season and you've always spoke about the group stages is the real reward yes of course that's really European football if you uh, reach a group stage means football European football till at least uh, the beginning of December and then we don't like to stop it in uh, in August but okay we know what we have to do and you spoke after the Watford game as well about how important that clean sheet was there to, to take that mindset into this game here in Denmark Yes, but because uh, maybe about uh, the five goals that we received in the first two games, maybe a little bit more doubting about uh, our organisation defensively. And I think the team showed uh, a good organisation last Sunday and, and that's a starting point to win the game. Do you think the preparation for this game is a bit easier because you know more about the opposition now after last week's first leg? Yeah, but OK, it's always uh, more more uh, information uh, when you play against them. Then you analyse the team about uh, different games and we know exactly now and maybe we are now maybe more prepared. Maybe there was maybe something uh, that we are the big favourite in the, in the game and, and now we know uh, what they can do and what we have to do to win the game. Are you confident, are the team confident of getting the right result here on Thursday night? Yes, of course, because I believe in the qualities of the players. If we uh, play on our level, if we doing less mistakes in our ball position, if we press and play a little bit more direct how we uh, showed that in the second half, then I'm totally confident in, uh, in to reach, reach uh, the, the um, the European uh, League states. And what's the team news ahead of Thursday night? No, the team news is that uh, the injury of Sadio is, is doubtful for tomorrow. Normally he will do the, the beginning of the session today. He will do it separate of the team. And, and maybe he can be involved in the second part. And, uh, and Victor Wanyama isn't uh, travelling with the team because from yesterday on uh, he's ill home. And uh, the latest update of the, of the doctor, uh, Steve Barnes, today was uh, that he had uh, a stomach infection.